All right, this one's gonna be on ARIA 2C. It's a command line downloading program that supports HTTP links, FTP, torrents, and well, torrents with um, was it magnet links, and also meta links, which I don't really use that much, but I'm gonna do that too. Anyways, uh, install ARIA 2 in your repositories, and the command line for this is ARIA 2C. And pretty simple, just plug in, you know, your, your link, your HTTP link or torrents or whatever. So we'll do uh, HTTP first. And for example, this one, okay, is a image for Linux Mint uh, Mate Edition here. And these are the mirrors for it, right? It's using the mirrors. So it's the same image, but just different servers on different countries and stuff like that. So let's say we do this South Africa uh, one here. We'll copy this link and all you gotta do is paste that in here right and right here it'll tell you uh, how big the image is it's 1.2 gigs here and right now we're just downloading um, about one meg here right uh, and the connection we only have one connection to it right now and we're downloading at the rate here is uh, 162 KB uh, KIB over here uh, and the ETA is uh, one that thing is going to be finished. So it says, uh, what's that? 43 minutes here. So there you go. Now, if you cancel all this, hit Control C, right? Depending on what it is, like some servers, they don't really allow resuming. Um, and and since this one is the HTTP link, uh, doesn't always work, but some servers, they do allow resuming. And for torrents, they actually allow resuming, and meta links, I think they allow resuming. But HTTP and FTP, that's kind of iffy, right? Anyways, if you want to resume, just go into the same folder that we downloaded the stuff. So this one we downloaded partially, uh, the ISO, and we also have this ARIA file that it creates it uh, when you use ARIA, right? So if you want to resume, just start the same command again, uh, like this. And I'll resume where we left off. So we had like 11 megs before, right? And I'll actually just continue it to 12 and then 13 and so on and so forth. So that's how you resume. Uh, pretty simple. So um, the download speed is not that fast since we're downloading from South Africa. And plus the server, it's probably capped um, because, uh, you know, we're having one connection right now. If you want to use the same source, so this uh, same source here, right? And you want to have two connections, you can actually do that um, because some servers, they cap you. So you can do, what was that, dash X, and you say I want two or three or four or five or whatever you want to do, um, you know, if you want to do that. So you do the same thing here. And now instead of one, we have two connections going to the same uh, server that we're downloading this from, and it should be faster. Uh, well, it takes a little bit of time to, um, you know, get the connection going strong here. But you can see um, that it goes higher than we had before, I believe. So that's how you do two connections or more if you just change the numbers, you know, to, to what you like. So that's how you do that. Now that one is the same server with two connections, but you can actually do multiple sources. Uh, what I mean by that is that let's say we have that image with um, what was that these the South African image here and that's one mirror only right so this is only one mirror for this image let's say we want it from another country let's say uh, what's that here Sri Lanka uh, we'll copy this sucker and we'll just add that one to our other source So you see, there you go. So you have one source here for the first one uh, in South Africa, and this one's in Sri Lanka. And now you still have two connections, but it's from different servers. So there you go, if you want to improve your speed even more, right? But we'll cancel all that there. Uh, so that's how you do that with HTTP, with uh, you know either one source with two connection or multiple source. You can add more if you want, if it's the same mirror. Anyways, let's get on to uh, torrents. Okay, now torrents. Uh, let's go to here. T 
torrent. Um, this one right here, we have, I'm going to use this one, this Ubuntu ISO torrent here. Copy. Pretty simple to use. Just type in ARIA 2C and, you know, type in the torrent link here. This is actually what I usually use if I don't set up my, uh, uh, or it's like a new computer and I haven't set up torrents, then I'll use this one here. And we'll wait for it to have connections here. So it, it tells you the basic stuff again, like, you know, how big the image is, uh, what we got right now, uh, how many connections uh, that we're going. And then I believe this one is the Cedars. So how many people actually finished the image already? And this is our current download rate. So we download 1.1 megs here. And the ETA, when it will be finished, and that's pretty much it for that. Now, if you want to cap your your download speed or your upload speed, you can actually do that. So we'll cancel out of this here. And this one supports uh, resuming also because it's torrents. But if you want to, let's say, cap your upload speed, you can do, what was that? I think dash U. And you can do, let's say, I'm pretty cheap with my upload speed, so I do 10 K. I think it's capital K. There you go. And there you go. That will actually uh, cap it uh, as far as for sharing, I believe. If you want to cap your download speed, it's uh, a little bit more fancy. Let's stop this here. Aria to C. And I think it's called download limit something. There you go. This is uh, what you need to type. Um, copy this thing here. So we'll cap it at the upload speed of 10K. And if we want to cap the download speed limit, we'll say uh, 500. No, actually, just say 200 so you can see, uh, you know, what we're doing here. 200K, right? And so let's run this sucker here. And let's wait for it to connect. Uh, so you can see here, right, uh, our download speed is not going to go over uh, 200K like this one is, right? So it's going to be all, always under 200, uh, even though you have all these connections and all these seeders or whatever. Um, so this one, you know, let's say you have a lot of people in your house and you want to just cap it at uh, a, learn, uh, a low speed so you can still have your files but do some other stuff like watch movies and stuff like that. So there you go. That's how you do that with uh, handling torrents. And if you want to resume, just all you got to do is, you know, restart the, the same command again at the same um, folder. Uh, so this one also supports, what is that, magnet links? So these ones are torrent links, right? But let's say you want magnet links. So we got the magnet here. And we'll copy the magnet links here. And we'll do aria to to C. What the hell? To C. And these actually we have to do it in quotes, I believe. Otherwise it'll fuck up. Quotes. There you go. And see, there you go. That's magnet links. Same thing as torrents, but you know, no torrent files or anything like that. And this one only has. What's that? We have five connections. We actually have no cedars, do we? We have one cedars. Whatever. Uh, two seeders now and there you go it would start downloading like a regular torrent um, pretty much it for torrents the next thing is meta links which uh, I don't really use but they actually have meta links and meta links for my uh, understanding is that it will actually list all the um, what is that mirrors in there and even if one mirror fails it will just grab on to the next one uh, so it's actually pretty useful and it's much faster than any of these other ones, I believe. So, meta links. We'll just copy this sucker. And pretty much the same thing, aria 2 c And then you, you know, paste in your meta link here. And I'll download it real quick here. So, that's all the, um, thing that it supports there. So, HTTP, FTP, torrents, magnet links, and meta links pretty easy to use and if you don't want to ha you don't have a hassle of setting up like a transmission command line or anything like that you can actually use this not a big issue 
Uh, so that'd be it for this one. Pretty cool program. They actually have a web UI to this. So I might make another video on that uh, in the future if you're interested in that. So that's it for this one.